Hello, my name is Sia Shirani, a Solutions Architect here at AWS, and I'm going to show you how to control user session access to instances in AWS Systems Manager Session Manager. We are going to cover what is AWS Systems Manager Session Manager, I talk about our scenario, and at the end we will have a demo on how to deploy our scenario. So what is AWS Systems Manager Session Manager? Session Manager is a fully managed AWS Systems Manager capability that lets you manage your Amazon EC2 instances through an interactive one-click browser-based shell or through the AWS CLI. Session Manager provides secure and auditable instance management without the need to open inbound ports, maintain bash and host, or manage SSH keys. In our scenario, we are going to assume that we have two groups of IAM users, production users and test users. IAM users that are member of production users should only be able to use session managers to connect to instances that are tagged with environment production, and IAM users that are member of test users should only be able to use session manager to connect to the instances that are tagged with environment tests. Another requirement for our scenario is making sure that users are able to only terminate the session that they opened and not the other user's session. With that, let's take a look at the demo section. For the demo, I've created two instances, which are tagged uh, by environment production and the other one is tagged by environment test. Now, what I've done also is I've created two IAM groups, one called production users and one called test users. These IAM groups currently, they don't have any uh, IAM permissions assigned to them. Also, I've created a few users uh, that are member of these IAM groups. Next, we're going to uh, take a look at the policy and create a policy which allows the production users only access uh, using session manager to the instances that are tagged with pro, uh, environment production. For that, I'm going to click on policies and click on create a new policy. I'm going to choose JSON and here the policy that I'm going to use will look like this. Basically, uh, here I'm allowing uh, the the in the policy to uh, start a session using a systems manager uh, on any instance in my environment. And remember here, even you can uh, specify resources in a specific region uh, if that's required. And next, uh, I'm looking for a condition if, if my tag key is environment with the value of production, uh, that's where the that's when this action uh, to SSM start session is going to work. And also, and uh, later in the document, I'm allowing terminate session only for resources, uh, which are basically the session name, that starts with my username, uh, dash, and star, because that's the format uh, for uh, session manager session names. I'm going to review the policy and uh, just call it a name like uh, production session manager for production users. Prod. And I'm going to create the policy. Next, I'm going to uh, assign this policy to my production group. So I'm going to click on uh, production uh, users group here, click on permission, attach a policy, and look for the policy that I just created. I'm going to do similar task uh, for my uh, other group, which is the test users. So I'm going to click on policies, create a new policy, and the policy will uh, look like very similar to the prod with the exception that uh, it's going to have a different tag, which is test here. And uh, I'm going to review the policy, call it the name, like session manager test, create the policy. And next, I'm going to attach the policy to my uh, test users group. So I'm going to click on test users, attach policy, look for the policy that I just created, and attach the policy. 
Okay, um, next I'm going to uh, start a session manager session uh, to these two instances that I've created. So what's gonna happen is uh, I should be able to only make connection to my uh, production uh, instance using a uh, prod user and uh, not uh, I, and with the, with the same user, uh, the production user, I should not be able to access the test environment. So uh, in this case, I'm going to use uh, AWS CLI. So I've already configured my AWS CLI to use uh, with different profiles for uh, production and test user. So I'm going to run those commands. First, I'm going to uh, use prod user one profile uh, and connect to the instance, this one, which is tagged by production. So I sh this, this connection should be successful. Let's take a look. Yep, I'm able to connect to the instance and just to verify that this is the right instance, I can just do a quick command like IP, IP config and you can see that the IP matches uh, the instance uh, IP address. I'm gonna end the session, uh, exit from that. And if I, uh, I use a different profile to connect to the same instance, uh, basically use the test user profile well, for, with the same instance ID, it should give me an access deny error. Yep. Now, uh, and of course, if I use the other instance, uh, the test uh, instance using the test user, the connection will be successful. Now, next thing that I want to demo here is using console, uh, an AWS console to connect uh, a new session manager for these instances. Um, Right now, if I uh, go ahead and log in, uh, I've already actually logged into uh, AWS console using these IAM users. You can see here, uh, for example, this one is the prod user two, which is member of my production uh, group. Uh, uh, and this one is the prod uh, user one. Now, if I go, uh, let's say to systems manager and click on session manager, let's see what we get. So, I go here, I click on Session Manager. As you can see, it gives me error that uh, this user, prod user one, is not uh, authorized to perform SSM described sessions. Uh, so when you connect over console, uh, bec uh, because console needs to list things, for example, it needs to list all the sessions that is uh, available in this account, there's some minimum requirements, uh, uh, requirement uh, permissions that user needs to have to be able to uh, use the console. So in this case, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another policy which allows the user to, uh, to do some uh, read, list, and describe uh, calls for uh, instances uh, so I can make a successful connection using AWS console. With that, I'm going to go back to my IAM console and I'm going to create a new policy. And this policy, uh, what, what, what it's going to do, it will allow uh, all those minimum, uh, basically described calls. And here I'm gonna click on JSON again and as you can see here, I'm allowing the uh, user uh, or those groups uh, to do describe instances, describe sessions for SSM, describe instance properties, uh, part of SSM, and also get the connection status, uh, basically uh, to get the session manager uh, if it's if the uh, session status. And I'm going to just choose uh, resources star here. Review the policy. I'm going to call it something like uh, uh, session manager session manager console minimum require rec something like that. And then I click create policy. Once the policy is created, I'm going to attach the policy to my to both of my groups. So here, click on production user permissions, attach a policy, session 
manager console minimum requirements and also I'm going to attach it to my other group test users attach policy session manager console minimum requirements okay now I have both policies here um, actually if I go back here uh, and uh, Eventually, it'll show, uh, you know, that this error on the top should go away. But just to expedite it, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, log off and log back in using prod user one. Uh, so, you know, so we can see the results. I'm going to paste the URL for my login. Prod user one, the password. And let's go to the session manager again. So systems manager and session manager. Here, I don't see any errors anymore. And actually I can go ahead and start a session. I can see both of my instances here. Remember this was the prod user. So, and uh, if, I, if I try to access the test, uh, uh, start a session on my test instance, it's gonna give me this error. And uh, now let's go back and uh, start the session for the other uh, uh, other uh, server. Here I click on start session. Uh, connection is going to be successful. Actually, I'm going to keep this session here. Uh, so like, uh, you know, and uh, it's gonna work. I, I know this, but uh, while I'm logged in, um, uh, to this, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, actually use the other user, prod user two, which is member of the same uh, production uh, group. And I'm going to open session manager again. And uh, here you can see that uh, I'm logged in with prod user two, and I can see the prod user one session because it's, that's still open. If I try to terminate this session, it's gonna give me the error although both of these users are member of the same group because in the policy i only defined uh the user uh, to be able to terminate the sessions that's uh, that oh, that that's owned by the user and uh with, with this user also i can start a uh, you know another session on my provinces without any issues uh, with that, uh, we get to the end of our video. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it was informative and see you, in, see you next time.